hey guys welcome back to my channel um this is done with one of my beautiful clients who came back and we've changed the shape of her nail slightly um so i have done a nude base uh, of acrylic with black luxio gel polish um over that and then I, so i've just videoed the foil work that i am doing please excuse my nails oh my god they're in shocking condition really really poor i will sort that out okay so this is the evil foil glue and on the thumbs i'm going to come down on a diagonal so i've wiped off um the residue layer on this uh, which you don't always have to do but i'm going to do some chrome nails too so i just thought i'd take it off on all of them so i'm just placing that evil foil glue this is a full coverage nail on the middle finger uh, and this one is going to be a part coverage nail so i create the line that i need it to go from and then bring it down and make sure i've covered the whole nail um tip and side walls um so I'm going to do the same, that's gone in the lamp to set for 60 seconds in an LED lamp and I'm now just going to repeat that on the other hand. So on the thumb I'm coming down on a diagonal, middle finger is full coverage and ring finger is going to be a part coverage nail coming down. Yeah, I need to sort my nails. I've been, I went on a training course, then I went on holiday camping. So I had to try and get them off for the training course the night before, um, remembering that I had gel on and not acrylic, so I couldn't soak off. Um, then I had extensions on one hand from the training course. Then I went camping, so I've cut them all down and oh i've just not had time to redo them and they look appalling um yeah so now they have set up for 60 seconds in the led lamp and i'm gonna take this beautiful jade snake skin from angel glitter mats and i'm literally with a really light touch just pressing that into position and you can see there was just a tiny bit on that one that hadn't come off so I just pressed it back down lightly and it, it came off on the nail. This one is a full coverage so I go down the belly of the nail first then I pull it round over those sides of the nail push it up into the cuticle with my finger you can see me just rubbing it up into that cuticle area and then removing it. The lighter the touch the better um, the more you seem to rub and press doesn't really do it any favors so if you're struggling with foils try and do you know just a, a, a nice even rub or press um, and that works perfectly so again same thing on this side covering over where I've put that foil glue giving it a nice even rub around the sides, checking as I remove it that I've got the coverage that I'm looking for. To the ring finger, and exactly the same, just push it down. I did get a few creases on this one, so I just pulled it up, pulled it taut, and pressed it down again. And a full coverage on that middle finger. So up, down the belly, down the sides, push it up into that cuticle area and as you pull the foil away just double checking that it's all gone into position and if it hasn't and you've got some tiny pieces just press them back down lightly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the striping tape from Angel Glitter Mats and I'm going to cover those lines. Um, with that so I just use an old pair of eyelash tweezers and place that across and then use my little stalk scissors to snip the ends and I'm gonna do that on the thumb and then again on the other side 
what I then do is I take because we don't know what our clients do when they go away from our nail desk so I always like to just give that little bit of a buffer if you will um, and I like to use a builder in a bottle uh, clear to go over any foils or any chromes um, so that they wear and they're still in position when they come back um, and it's just a bit of security I like to do it not everyone does um, but I do hear people saying that they wear or you know if the top coat wears slightly then the, the foil will wear a little bit so this is just my security okay. so um, yeah I go over with a layer not a really thick layer just a normal layer and this is the Luxio build it I think build yeah Luxio build it uh, build it in a bottle and then I'm just so now that's gone into the lamp for 60 seconds I'm gonna do the other side so on with the striping tape and then with the clear layer of build it So now these black nails are going to have the green chrome on from um, Hazel Dixon um, at HD Pro. These are new in this morning so it was a perfect match for this foil, it looks stunning, it's like a jade green, it's beautiful. So I'm using the No Wipe Top Coat which is Shine It from HD beautiful long lasting it's amazing my clients come back five five weeks sometimes longer um and this is still intact looking nice and shiny so that again sets up in the lamp for 60 seconds and then when it comes out i'm going to just use my finger and rub that chrome into that no white top coat literally could not have got a more perfect match for that foil it's stunning really really beautiful And then once I've done that, I'm going to just cap that in the builder gel 
So build her in the bottle, clear and do a, a nice layer, thin layer over the chrome to keep that intact and protect the wear of your client. Set that up and then repeat on the other hand. So here I'm going to use Matte from HD Pro, which is simply the best matte top coat out there. It's absolutely stunning. It, the wear on it is beautiful. Um, it doesn't seem to catch any bits or particles when you're wearing it, which a lot of others do. Um, I love it. So I'm going over the snake skin with the Matte. Um, and then the chrome nails are going to be shine it which is the no white top coat again And then to finish these, I'm going to use the Evil Gem Glue from Angel Glitter Mats, the Micro Beads from HD, and these little Opal Jade Stones, which are from Scatter Crystals, I believe. Um, and I'm just going to do on the ring finger and the middle finger and then some down the gold stripe on the thumb. So I'm just using that really beautiful tool that Hazel brought out, which is a gem picker upper and a dotting tool. 
and it's so delicate so light it's lovely to work with I love it um, so yeah I'm gonna leave you to watch the rest of this video now um, I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's been useful um, I really love this foil and that chrome matches perfectly with it so take care guys please like and subscribe and I shall speak to you in the next video take care guys